Greetings my hippity hoppiers. Today on Merry Merry Meeples we are going to be looking at a game that's coming to us from Yellow, designed by Richard Garfield, art by Paul Maffeon, Bunny Kingdom, Expand Your Fief by Jesta Here. And now we're going to look at this game, which I'll show you the back while I am speaking about the other things. This also includes the expansion Up in the Air. We have not yet played that, but I'll talk upon the stuff that I know about. As you can see, here's some of the components, bunny invasion content, two to four players, 14 plus 45 minutes. I will say that two to four players is with a variant. The two player game, you basically have kind of like a dummy hand. We personally aren't a fan of playing that way. Let's open this box. And this box doesn't want to be open. The bunnies wish to remain hidden. So here we have the base game's rule book. Overview, goal of the game, components, new world board, figures, city figures, tokens, sky towers, exploration cards, parchment cards, setup. How do I play? The phases. Here's all the different phases, revealing the parchments, end of game, notes on the missions, glossary, special apartments, rules summary. Next up we have the game rules for the In the Sky expansion. Cards for player changes, some setup, the great cloud board, rabbit figures, parchments, city figures, farms, rainbows, chimneys, coins, trade, terminology, credits. So as you can see, haven't even punched these out yet, but these are the things that came with the expansion, along with this here board. Alright, so that's the cloud board, so that's the expansion there. The other thing I should mention is I have the bigger board. For those of you who don't know, when the game first came out, they came with a smaller board. You were able to get a bigger board by requesting one. So it is a lot bigger. As you can see, the other one basically was like here, and it was very tight to put the castles and the bunnies on the score track and all that. But credit to them, they decided, nope, we need a bigger board, so they went ahead and did that. So in here, so the insert isn't like super custom, but it works very well. As you can see, it holds the card separate, it holds all the bunnies, and then it holds the castles, which you'll see are bubble wrapped because they are really nice castles. So here's the other thing that came with the components. So you have a new color, it's a little purple, and then extra bunnies of the four other colors. And these bunnies are really nice. They're little plastic bunnies. Which you can see here. Hopefully they'll zoom in. Even though they're small. Little bunnies. You have those in pink. Obviously purple. Black. Yellow. And red. In my own personal container here. I have these little cardboard bits. You get these as you're drafting the cards to either claim a spot if you don't have the card, you create some sky bridges, you put different uh, resources on the tiles, stuff like that. That's what my little container here contains. Here we have the different castles and such that you'll be putting out on the spaces, again, based on the cards you get. And here's these. And you'll see that little round part on the top, that's for the bunny to sit in. So that's a three because it has three little pillars. Here's a two, two pillars. Do I have an easy to get to one? Here's the one. Oh, that's another two. Then you'll see this is in the little bubble wrap because it was, is fragile. Here's your ones. There we go. As you see, a whole bag of ones. Here's more expansion bits. These must be like sky castles and various things of that nature. So another three. And then look at that bad boy. That's pretty cool looking once it focuses. Little carrots as the sides, a little spot for your bunny. As you can see, we got a few of those. 
So those are little castles. This deck here, let's go ahead and open up. This is the expansion content. Once I find the little, there's a little open hole thing. Here we go. We got that open. Again, haven't played with this, so I can't really speak to exactly what the cards do. But here are the cards. I'm guessing these might pertain to that cloud board where you can put more things. Look at the snow bunny. For those of you who don't know, this is a drafting game where you're drafting the cards for locations to put your bunnies and trying to form fiefdoms. And it has a very mathematical one where you're basically timesing the amount of the castles by the types of resources. There's little cards. Alright, so these are the cards that I do know. So you'll see this is G9, so that relates to the spot G9 on that board. And you'll see it's a 1, which means that it's a 1. Like this one, D10, that means there's going to be wood there. These contracts are usually end of game, so you're going to get 4 points for each fief you control with at least 3 territories. So there's a card for each spot, and then various different um, of these parchment cards. This kind of gives you that one thing where I showed you where you can add the different resources to the cards. Lots of different cards to draft. Then over here, we have even more cards. And here's that little times table I was talking about where your strength times your wealth. And then the player A is higher fade. So Number of a fee, points of a fief equals strength, which is the sum of its towers times its wealth, number of different resources. So you have one of those for each player. And then here's more of those cards for all the different areas. So again, that is what's in Bunny Kingdom from Yellow Games and its expansion. It's definitely a fun game with three and up players. I don't necessarily suggest it at two players. As I said, it's got like a weird little drafting change that we kind of just found confusing as we were trying to do and we kept forgetting to do cards. So, but it is definitely worthwhile checking out if you do have three or more players. All right, so I am going to go hop down a trail and see if I can find some colored eggs. You all have a wonderful day.